Hi developers, I'm Hossein Dilia, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to develop iOS applications using Xamarin. Here, we'll learn how to use the date picker so that the users can choose a date between a set range of dates. So here, as you see here, I have this date picker UI element. And here, the user can choose the date and the date chosen is displayed right here. The date picker also have another useful um, feature which is setting a range of dates. So here I'm choosing 2016 but if I choose 2014 for example you see here it goes to 2016 because I set this application or this date picker to only choose dates that starts from 2016 and doesn't exceed or doesn't go beyond 2020. For that, when I choose 2021, it go back to 2020. So let's learn how to build this application using Xamarin. So here I'll fire up Xamarin Studio. Start from scratch by creating a new project or new solution under iOS app, single app view, hit next, then call this application date picker one app. Once the application is created, we'll go to the storyboard where we will edit our user interface. We want to preview our user interface for the iPhone 6. And another uh, setting to do here is to uh, click outside of the previewer and go here to the properties widget and uncheck use size classes so that we can get uh, the design we will create here and the previewer will be the same when we run the application on iPhone uh, simulator. Great, so now let's add our date picker controller. For that we'll go to the toolbox and look for the date picker control which is here. So let's put it here and from the properties window we have some properties for the date picker. So here we have the first property uh, which is for, to, for choosing what values to choose. So here the user could choose the date, the time or both. So let's choose only the date for example. And only here we have the minimum date and maximum date range of the values that will be displayed inside the date picker. So for the minimum date it's choose 2016 for example. And for the maximum date let's choose 2020. Great. Uh, oops, here it should be 2016. So now let's turn the application on the iPhone 7 emulator. So here it is now the, our date picker with the values and only accepts values between 2015 and 2020. Good, so now let's add another feature. It's uh, when the user chooses a certain date. Now we want to, display, to get that date and display it in a label above or below the date picker. So let's go back to the designer, stop the running and here we'll add a label, put it here and let's uh, give it a name, let's call it date label. Then we want to add an event and for each time the user chooses a date, that event will be fired to, um, to set the value or to get the selected date. So to add the event, we select the date picker view, go to events and right from here where we have the change it event. So let's create that change it event. Let's call it date time change it.
hit enter and here I'm redirected to the view controller and here I'm asked where to put my event handler so let's put it and below the constructor right from here the first thing to do is to get the value of the selected date for that I'll call my date picker and I need to give it a name so I go back to the widget at the top here let's call it my date picker now I can go call my date picker dot date to get the date value chosen by the user and you see here that the date uh, is of type ns date so let's put it in an ns date uh, variable call it date Good, now we can go to the label that we call it date label dot text and give it the date value coming from the date picker. The date is not of type uh, string, so we can cast it to string using the to string method. Now let's run our application. Let's change the date. And here it is now it's displaying that uh, date correctly right from here. So thank you.